keep this as a reminder. Yes. So on some of yours, I'm just going to repeat myself. On some of yours, I wrote a sticky note with a couple notes. Maybe it was a reminder, capital letter, seven up sentence. Maybe it didn't make a whole lot of sense. So I just wrote a couple notes on a sticky note for you to read and to fix on your hook. Before we start by writing our last sentence of our informative writing, I want you to read your hook and I want you to make sure you have seven up sentences. I want you to make sure you started with a capital letter. I want you to make sure you have a period or whatever, whatever punctuation is needed. Just take a moment and read your hook, make sure everything's looking good. All right, so you have an example. Mrs. Tompkins wrote this example about jellyfish. So it's based on the same book that we read yesterday. So it's kind of an example or something to look off of while you are writing yours. So right now I'm just going to read it to you and you're gonna follow along with me as I read. And you can keep this example on your desk for today and for the remainder of when we write this piece. So jellyfish. Have you ever heard of an animal that can live forever? Well, there is a jellyfish called an immortal jellyfish. This animal starts as a baby and then grows up to be an adult. But if this jellyfish gets hurt or does not have enough food, it will go back to the baby stage of life. Okay, so there's my hook. It stopped right there. Which one did I use? Oh, it's not listed up there. Did I use a question, a fact, or a description? Which one did I use, Anastasia? Right, I used a question, but it kind of was like a fact too, wasn't it? Yeah. Right. Jellyfish, this is what we're going to do right now, so pay attention. Jellyfish are amazing creatures that look different than any other ocean animal. They have lots of options of food to eat, and they can sting anything that touches their tentacles. So there are my three subtopics I listed in that sentence. They look different than any other ocean animal, so I'm going to talk about what they look like. They have lots of options for food. I'm going to talk about the food they eat. And they can sting anything that touches their tentacles. I'm going to talk about how they sting. So, I listed on this sticky note, I'm going to zoom in. These are options for subtopics. There are one, two, three, four, five options. How many do you need to have? Show me on your fingers. How many do you need to have? You need three, exactly. So, you have an option of five. So you can talk about how the jellyfish, you can talk about what they look like. You can talk about what they eat. You can talk about who eats them. You can talk about how they move. Or you can talk about how they sting. So you have those five options. But I want you to keep this in mind. If you used one of these things in your hook, I don't want you to use it for one of your subtopics. For example, so if you talked about how turtles eat, how jellyfish are a turtle's favorite meal, you're not going to choose who eats them because you already talked about that in your hook. Or let's say you gave the fact um, that they have, let's see, you gave the fact that they have venom in their stinging cells. If you said something about that, then you're not going to talk about how they sting in your subtopic. So if you talked about one of these five things, in your hook, you're not going to use it for your subtopic. You need to choose three other ones. So if you have other options, there's five. So if you have a sticky note, I want you to go ahead and get one out. If you don't have a sticky note, I can get one for you. And I want you to write down the three subtopics that you want to use. Get out a sticky note, and I just want you to write down the three subtopics you want to use. Anybody else need a sticky note? All right, so take the next minute and yeah. write down the subtopics that you want to use. The three subtopics. You can talk about what jellyfish look like. You can talk about what jellyfish eat. You can talk about the things that eat the jellyfish. You can talk about how jellyfish move. And you can talk about how jellyfish sting. You have five options. You need to choose three that you want to write about. Yes. Um, it's a fact that there's a pair of some jellyfish can grow in the dark. Um, is that, does that go with what the 
what they look like. Hmm. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say you can. You have the option for any five of them. You can choose out of all five. Anastasia. Um, was there one about like that oral thing? Does that count as like how they? The look? oral arm. Yeah. Um. No, you can do a sentence. No, you can do a subtopic with how they look. Good question, Connor. Um. I did um about the bioluminescence. Oh, okay, cool. Do, um, I think you you, you have, have the option for all five. Okay. You have that option. All right, hold on one second. So now the tricky part is putting those three subtopics that we chose into a sentence. That's going to be the tricky part. So if you remember, our last sentence of our introduction paragraph is where we list our three subtopics in a sentence. So this is how this one went, this example. Let me find where it starts. Jellyfish are amazing creatures that look different than any ocean animal. So that's what they look like. I just worded it differently. They have lots of options of food to eat. We're gonna talk about what they eat. And they can sting anything that touches their tentacles. I'm gonna talk about how they sting. So now it's your job to put the three subtopics that you chose into a sentence. You need to put them into a sentence. Let's do an example together. Let's say, let me put this back on here. Let's say we chose who eats them, how they move, and what they eat. We chose those three just for the purposes of our sentence. How should we start it? How do you guys want to start our sentence? Our sentence, Anastasia. What are you thinking? Um, this and um, this animal eats them. Okay, so this we can start instead of saying jellyfish. We're gonna because we already said jellyfish. This animal has. Other animals, we can use the word that prey on them. Okay, so we have one. We talked about who eats them. How, well, how else could we, how to continue the sentence? What do you think, Connor? Um, how, um, how they um, use tentacles. For what? Um, how they use the tentacles to eat. To eat? So we're going to go on to what they eat? Um, yeah. Are we going to say that? Okay, so we need to say something about... Because they don't just use their tentacles. They put the they pull yeah, the food into their mouths, right? Yeah. So let's mouth. say this animal has other animals that prey on them. They have... Prey. They have... Oh, let's... They have... Other animals that prey on them, they have, I mean, we could say that, they have prey themselves. So now we're talking about the things that they eat. And then their last one, how they move. How do we want to word that? Anybody other than Connor have an idea? Addison, what were you thinking? Um, jellyfish move by squeezing their mouth. Well, we're not going to talk about how they move. We're just going to say... Because we don't want to go into detail because that's what our paragraph is for. So we just simply want to talk about, just simply say, I'm going to talk about how they move. So we could say, and they move different than any other sea animal. All right, so there's another example. This animal has other animals that prey on them. They have prey themselves, and they move different than any other sea animal. So there's another example. All right, I need you to now write your sentence, your sentence that lists your three subtopics. Remember, we're not going into too much detail. You're just telling me the three things that you are going to be talking about in the following three paragraphs. So if you chose the one of your subtopics who eats them, you're not going to list the animals that eat them. You're not going to say the animals that eat them. 
This sentence is not a very detailed sentence. You're just telling me the three subtopics that you will be covering. Yes? So, I thought that we were going to have time to write our whole next paragraph, but I don't, I don't think we will because I want to make sure we have enough time for our math quiz. So, all we're going to do is write the first sentence of our second paragraph. So, before we even start writing, I'm going to read you the example. So, you're going to need to pick the subtopic that you want to talk about first. So you need to just pick one subtopic. So we just wrote a sentence listing three. You just need to choose one that this paragraph is going to be about. So here's an example. When people first see jellyfish, they may think they look very strange. Which subtopic am I going to talk about? By my first sentence, we should be able to tell. What's my subtopic, Anthony? what they look like, exactly. First of all, so now in my next three sentences, I'm going to give details of, or facts about what they look like. So here we go. First of all, they don't have any ears, eyes, or a brain. They have three main parts of their body, the bell, the mouth, and the tentacles. The bell is the top round soft part of the jellyfish. Under the bell is their mouth, and where they eat from and go to the bathroom from. Then the tentacles hang down around the bell. Okay, so I just I gave more than three or three facts about what they look like, but I'm only asking you to do three, three sentences about what they look like. Then your closing, these two, your topic sentence and your closing sentence pretty much going to say the same thing, just in a different way. I'm just going to say my subtopic again in a sentence. So here's my closing. Jellyfish are cool and fascinating looking creatures. So again, I told you that my subtopic was going to be that they look kind of interesting and fascinating. But all you're going to do today, right now, is your topic sentence. So first, you need to choose the subtopic that you want to talk about. You're just choosing one. And you're going to write the first sentence. You're going to write the first sentence. And all that is, is you're just telling me what your subtopic is, but in a sentence. You're just telling me what your subtopic is, but in a sentence. When people first see jellyfish, they may think they look very strange. What if your subtopic was um, what they eat? How could we say that? How could we put that in a sentence? If that's what the subtopic you were going to be talking about, how could we put that? Connor, did you um, have an idea? I actually had a question. Okay, hold on. What's an example of an intro sentence I could use for what they eat? All I need to do is just list this in a sentence. I just need to say this in a complete sentence. What about jellyfish? Have many sea, let's see, I guess we could say sea animals they eat. All I did was tell you that for my next three sentences, I'm going to talk about what they eat. So I'm just listing my subtopic in a sentence, just like we did last time. So here's an example. You have an example in front of you and go ahead and start. So since we're start doing a new paragraph, skip a line. Since we are doing a new paragraph, skip a line. We're only doing that one sentence. Can you question? Yeah. So can you um, go 